Tyler the Creator. He had he got interviewed, I think, by Hip Hop DX or somebody, right? And he you love Tyler the Creator on this podcast. I love Tyler the Creator. Like I, I I've become a pretty big fan. Boy can spit, and he 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 ran down his top five Jay Z songs. Okay, so let me say um, let me say what his are first, right? And if we, well, I'm gonna get yours. Um, his is fuck all night. If you're not familiar with the song, tell me. But fuck all night. Excuse me, miss. Grammy family freestyle, the funk flex thing, right? Okay. Allure. Uh, and show you how he. I think he he named like six. Do it again. If he's supposed to do top five, he did six. Do it again. We're gonna do top five. Um, so put your hands up. That joint, right? Um, French top five Jay Z cuts. Uh, wow! Be nice, French. Pass. Why? What? You wait. Hold up. Oh, you don't feel like participating. You don't like Jay Z. You don't have five Jay Z songs you care for. That that part. There are not five Jay Z songs that exist that you like. <sighs> like not even feeling it. Dead presidents. Like dead pres. Um, Johnny did with Foxy Brown. Hard not life. Um, You're not a Jay Z fan. He's not. He's not a Jay Z. I fan. hate Hard Knock Life because right. he actually named Hard Knock Life. Was that a bad one? <laughs> yeah. That's one of my least favorite. It's a is a is a huge hit. It's important for us. Right, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you why I like that song. Yeah, because I don't like that sample. Um, Me Forty Five King produced that, and that's the big homie. Yeah, I actually respect, did a tribute to him. I did. A, the, I, wow, I did a Forty Five King tribute set. I gotta find that. Respect to Forty Five King. Uh. What's her name down here in the corner? He, what's the girl with the new youth ball sack on her neck? What's um me? No. <laughs> I'm I might even smoke it. We got your name. Hey, who, I didn't know I was down on the left. Who's the chick with the bazooms? Who's <laughs> Thanks for yeah, the, the, here come the flood. I'm sorry. Oh yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> not, we're not there yet. Um so look, we're not my songs. So yeah. Where I'm from, definitely yeah. my number one. Yeah. You Must Love Me is tied. So my one and a half, and that's the first song that ever made me cry. <sighs> that song. Then Gangsta Shit off The Professional. You got that gangsta, gangsta, you got that shit. Um, one of my favorite verses is off That's Your Bitch, the Memphis Bleak shit. Yeah, That's Your Bitch. <sighs> and then... Uh, I mean, I love that whole song, but that's one of my favorite Jay Z verses. And then the the uh, we could no, go join. But then, but then they start to rotate from there because that's when like the the shit from Reasonable Doubt will factor in, like Dear Summer's in there. You know what I'm saying? But those are definitely my top, without a doubt. Where I'm from, like it's without a question. Yeah, dudes, what's yeah. your five? Um, top five. That president is my favorite. The originals too, while others spit that Wonder Rama shit, me and my conglomerate show her, that one, that one. Um that's that's my all-time favorite. Then I would have to say um anything. I risk anything. I hate that joke. Um the one with JD and the Ferrari at Jack. Money anything, I like that song. Nice pop that was, song. That was the song that I heard, and I was like, yo, Jay is nasty. I was young, but I heard like the chain reaction bar had me going. Reservoir Dogs. Because hmm. that's that's a Jay album cut off his shit too. Um, and then probably honestly, a low-key joint is the BBC joint, him with Nas. Uh, and Pharrell and Swiss did the beat. And this Alicia Keys and Beyonce all, thing all back the joints that he did with Nas with Fire. I did a uh, so I do like the tribute mixes on Dash Radio. Shameless plug. And, yeah. uh, so I did. I, I did birthday. I did a yeah. I did a Jay Z uh, tribute, and um, of course, respectfully, I took Nas's verses out for the the mixes. But the joints that he's got with Nas are all fucking fire. Like um, my yeah. top five. I, I didn't try to get too tricky with the shit. Because these songs that I'm about to name, they really impacted me big time. So, Song Cry, I don't have them in no particular order. Song Cry is, I should have said You Must Love Me. Because as I cry to that fucker, to this day. I can one of my all-time favorite songs, that's why. Come on, man. From the, from every single verse on there. But I got Song Cry, I got Excuse Me, Miss. 
Mm -hmm. I got Dead Presidents Part 2. I got Say Hello, right? Say Hello to the... Yo, that's my joint. And listen, can't knock the hustle. Yes. See, that's that's one of those ones that rotates wait, in the and and wait. also honorable mention to Lucifer. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait. I forgot too. I forgot too. How could I forget fucking the evils and can I live? How could I forget can I live? Can I I feel I live? Like, like reasonable oh. doubt is one of those albums that has just the those classics that kind of just rotate in. Like even if you're not a big Jay-Z fan and shit like that. Like feeling it when shit like that drops, it's kind of hard not to vibe out. Yo, Mike, watch my number five, thirty something. What album? Thirty, is that the on? new twenty, nigga. I'm so hot still. Oh, Joe produced that shit. Listen, Kingdom Come is a slept on album. It is because wow. I hate it. <laughs> listen, listen to it again. As, I listen will. Listen to it again as a grown. I hate listen it. to it again as a grown Next man. Show. I will. I will. Listen to it again on some grown shit, and it's gonna slap a little bit different. I'm an old black. nigga. I was 49 when that bitch came out. I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm not that 40's old. 40's the new 20, nigga. I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs>